If you don't already know, Japan has been home to some of the most interesting and creative rock music in recent years. That being said, here's five Japanese bands I recommend. Number one, Baby Metal. Imagine this. You're walking through a desolate, post-apocalyptic world. Everywhere you look, there's destruction. As the sun sets, it paints the landscape blood red. In the distance, you see large vehicles coming towards you. The ground shakes as they approach, giving you anxiety with each passing second. As they finally arrive, you watch as a group of dark hooded figures step out their vehicles. You hopelessly stare in horror as the figures slowly remove their hoods, revealing a group of cute anime girls who just want to take a picture. And that's pretty much the experience of listening to baby metal. What you have here is basically a mix of power metal mixed with J-pop, along with some occasional hip-hop and dubstep thrown in there, because, you know, why not? And surprisingly, this crazy fusion of genres actually works, thanks to the frantic energy that performers Suzuka, Moa, and Momoko bring to each song. If you're looking for a good place to start, try out their self-titled debut album. On here, the song Onidari Daisakusen is definitely a highlight. So if you're bored of genre convention, I definitely suggest checking them out. Number two, Downey. So here's the deal with this band. They're great. That's pretty much it. Number three, no, seriously, check them out. Number three, Ringo Shina. Yumiko Shina, known by her stage name Ringo Shina, is a singer, songwriter, and musician. Although she is not normally in a band, the music she makes is typically associated with bands. First off, Ringo is a staple of the Japanese music industry. Although considered to be a pop star, her musical sensibilities are by no means basic. What I like most about Ringo's music is that she shows the untapped potential of what pop music in the West could be if the genre was taken seriously. In other words, Ringo's songwriting and musicianship are top notch. For the best Ringo experience, look no further than her 2000 album, Shoso Strip. I cannot overemphasize enough how good the songwriting on this album is. This is one of those albums where you hear something new with each listen. Beyond the songwriting, however, the positive vibes you get from Ringo's music is nothing short of infectious. Number four, Toe. One day, while going down the YouTube rabbit hole, I found a video of a girl doing a drum cover of a song called Goodbye. While watching the video, I was completely mesmerized by the song and the girl's performance. Afterwards, I absolutely had to find out more about the artist. Turns out, the artist in question was Japanese math rock band Toe. Originating from Tokyo, Toe has been around since 2000. The band consists of members Kashikura Takashi, Mino Takaki, Yamani Satoshi, and Yamazaki Hirozaku. Got it on the first try. Toe's music is for the most part instrumental, and as musicians, they have a calm and steady yet precise playing style. The general vibe I get from Toe is that of a calm summer afternoon. So I think their music is perfect for appreciating your surroundings and getting lost in thought. If that sounds like you, then give them a listen. I recommend checking out their second album, For Long Tomorrow. Number 5. Mass of the Fermenting Dregs I kind of feel like MTFD needs no introduction. If you're like me, then you discover this band by catching a glimpse of any one of their amazing hand-drawn album covers. However, Mass has more than just cool artwork. Almost every song they write is exciting and vibrant. In fact, I would say that Mass is the perfect introduction to Japanese rock in general, because many of the stylistic elements of Mass are common in other bands. These include female members being more common, rapidly changing drum patterns, brighter sounding guitars, and the blending of different rock genres. As for MTFD's best work, look no further than 2009's World Is Yours. This album is a personal favorite of mine, and an absolute blast. Here you'll find heavy use of rhythmic stop and start patterns, along with speedy reverb-induced guitar flourishes. 
So if you like listening to fast guitar driven rock in the vein of bands like Pixies, At The Drive-In, or Yeah Yeah Yeahs, then you'll probably like Mass of the Fermenting Dregs. And those are the five Japanese bands I recommend. Thanks for watching.